just as I once begged for your kisses. Now you will beg for your death. Prepare, my darling, for pain. Exquisite pain. Eric! Get back, Eric! <laughs> Eric, don't touch her! Eric! Put her down, Eric! Eric! You're here, gentlemen. The beast's gone mad again. <laughs> there! There! Kill it! Don't show it. Don't show it. <laughs> you shoot, I tell you. He'll kill her! Fainted. That dream again. You must learn not to fall asleep upon the stage. Oh, Caesar, don't joke. It was horrible.
to make some money? Yes. Take this letter to the stage manager. But hurry, it's very important. Run. So now we have the real murder in the room morgue. Poor Eric. Such a senseless crime, Inspector Vidoc. Everyone liked him. Not everyone. You saw his face? Yes. It was horrible. Was it acid? Acid? The incredible thing is the killer's daring flamboyance to get into Eric's costume and actually appear on the stage. And I hear it was very good. That means the killer has to be a member of my company. Your wife? Uh, no, Inspector. That's Madeline's mother. Beautiful. Was she a performer, too? Yes, she worked for my company, but she died. Of course. How could I forget the sad death of Madame Fenelon? That, too, was a bloody death, wasn't it? That murder was solved, Inspector. Yes, of course. <laughs> Paris has turned into a carnival. I won't get Should be good for your business, Monsieur Charron. Yes. And so should this murder. Don't you see? Good day, Monsieur. Thank you. Orchids? From whom? My secret admirer again. He left them at the door this time. Ah, these stage door lovers. Don't they know you're my wife? Wait a minute. Get on stage. Get on stage. Get on stage. Don't you feel well? I'm exhausted. Afraid to sleep. Afraid to dream, Cesar. The dream will stop. I don't think it will. Not until I know its meaning. Curtain time. There is no meaning. Oh, it's curtain time. Good luck, darling. Break a leg. I almost...
almost burnt my hand last night. You realize that, don't you? And don't move at any time during my long speech, please. Yes, good luck, darling. Get your hat on, will you? Again. Uh, the axe man, the rope, the falling body. I'll make you a sleeping draught. Cesar, where is he? An urgent message came. He's got business in town. Mother, so you marry the daughter. What do you want, Genevieve? The answer to a question. What is it? Do the dead come back? about Eric. Was he murdered? Yes. And Inspector Vidal confirms it. Why? Why would someone want to kill Eric? Except... Nero. Nero is dead. Dead and buried. Yes, I know, but... But Eric must have had a personal life. Some old enemies. But the acid. His face was burnt. The dead do not return, Jeanette. And... 
And how about old love? Not entirely. I've never seen you before. I was on the stage, yes. But you find uh, this life better? Well... There are many ways to perform. Lie down. No, uh, in your room. What's next? Wait. Now, open your eyes. She worked for you at the theater. Did you and no, she... No, darling, no. Jeanette was always a prim and proper person. Until yeah. she changed her profession. Besides, I was in love with your mother. You and that other man, Moreau? Well, I expect we'll be hearing from Inspector Vidoc again. Another murder. You still didn't answer my question. You'll be late for the theater. Bye, darling. I'll see you at the theater. Slow it down. Thomas, we must hurry. We must go and save okay. Madeline. Hello, She's in great danger. All right, let's all go. Monsieur. Hurry, hurry. I was expecting you to call today. I see you read the paper, Monsieur Charbon. And I can read your mind, Inspector. You think I have something to do with the murder of Genoa Lafitte, the woman at Madame Adolphe's? She did work for you once. Yes. And you did visit her last night. 
Uh, pure nostalgia. You understand, Inspector? Of course. Well, we might as well get it over with. You wish me to accompany you? Yes. To the morgue. To identify her body? No, monsieur. His body. An uncommon fine day, madam. On a day such as this, we should abandon city pursuits. Pack a picnic lunch. My, you're uncommon quiet for an actress. Or don't you talk to dwarves? There's not much to me, I admit, but I do draw attention to beauty such as yours, and doubly enhance it as many a lady has found. <laughs> you know. No, what? We're not strangers. You wear my orchids. Oh. Yes, your admirer. I'm flattered, monsieur. Triboli. Pierre Triboli. Descended from royalty, of course. How so, monsieur? One of my ancestors was a court jester. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is not foreign to you. Matter of fact, you laugh exactly as your mother did. You knew my mother. Yes, once I was her greatest admirer. And for that reason, madame, I have a friend whose endorsement would greatly further your career. And for such an endorsement? What would I want? Very little. You see, I want to help you. You should be a great star on greater stages. Just as your mother would have been if she had lived. Through you, she will live again. I have friends, madame. Yes, I have powerful friends. Au revoir. It's Jacques. Or should I say, what's left of him? Was he an important member of your cast? Replacing Eric. The uh, almost human ape. Uh, was he any good? Not very. But he'd been with me a long time. Three murders in the room morgue, Monsieur Charon. All three victims mutilated with vitro. I would say the pattern is established. Wouldn't you? Pattern? I don't know what you mean. How? Pattern of vengeance, perhaps? But it's not possible, Inspector. It's just not possible. Nevertheless, if I were a member of your company, Monsieur Charon, I will try to be very, very careful.
please everyone. Yes, messieurs and madame, the great Orsini will be buried in this very grave before your eyes. His coffin will be nailed shut. His grave will be covered with dirt. Talk to you, Luigi. I'm busy. Read. What's this to do with me? Between the lines, Luigi. Three of your friends were killed, so what? I was never your friend, Cesar. But you were a member of my company back then. During the days of Mallow. Moreau is dead. I know. You blame a dead man for this? No, no, of course not. It couldn't be. There's no doubt about his death, Cesar. We were both there at the grave. Yes. A dozen years ago. Cesar, stop blaming the dead. Luigi. The man has suffered enough. Wasn't there anyone else who knew Miro then? Some relative or friend? I know nothing. Except my work. The great Mussini! Inspector. Do what, Aubert? Get buried alive. Practice. We have done the trick for 15 years. Once he did it for Monsieur Charon. But uh, you wanted to speak to Orsini. But obviously we arrived too late. Now we'll have to wait, Aubert. Three whole days.
I gave her another sleeping powder. The dream again? Yes, monsieur, the dream. Monsieur, isn't there anything we can do? Like what? Well, a change of air, perhaps. Yes, you're quite right, Gabrielle. I'll see what I can arrange in the morning. Good night. Good night.
dream? Nightmare? The man with the axe? Yes, and a house. And I'm running, and Greek columns, and, and big trees. But that was your mother's house. My mother's house? Yes, don't you remember? You lived there as a child. No, but why did I forget that house? Well, you were very young. And painful memories are better forgotten, Madeline. What happened to my mother? Let's not talk about death. But I want to know what happened with her and Maho. Perhaps it will help to explain my dream. Well, it happened in your mother's house, in her own theater. Theater? I can almost remember. Moreau was very much in love with your mother, but he was insanely jealous. One night, we were giving a play, a private performance for the Duchess of Orléans. Please, please help me. I've done nothing. Take my necklace. You have done nothing to me, madame. But you have caused my master great harm. What are you doing? You wouldn't, you wouldn't brand me. <laughs> Not I, madame. That is a pleasure reserved for the Duke himself. And then? <laughs> he would use this. What is it? Something to heal your burning flesh. Something gentle and soothing. Vitriol! <laughs> My apologies, madame. I was detained. All is in readiness, master. Then let us begin. At the beginning. Please, Your Grace, I implore you. No, no, no. Yes, yes, my darling. If you deny me your beauty, then no one shall ever see it again. Kill the beast. A little more heat for you, my darling. It won't be long. see him for weeks. We've all been frantic with worry and grief. We 
still don't know how it happened. The police are just as puzzled as we are. Yes. What is it? Can he hear? Can he speak? Oh, yes, sir. He can speak all right when he wants to. And he can hear everything. I want to talk to him by myself. See, no. I, I, I know what I'm doing. Don't worry, nurse. I shan't upset him. Moreau, there'll always be a place for you in the company. Don't forget, we're all old friends. Goodbye. God bless you. Why did you not allow me to visit you? To know that you're alive and not see you. How could you be so cruel? Do you remember what we said in my dressing room? The very night it happened. I asked you to set a date for our marriage, didn't I? Well, I'm still waiting. Dear Madeleine, what I look like. No, you find yourself a husband with a face worth looking at. A handsome young lord like Sharon. I hate handsome men. I hate them, do you hear me? All my leading men are handsome. Why else would a man want to, to look into the mirror night after night? All tailors, dummies, and empty hearts. All except you. Does it still does it still hurt to touch? No. What do I care if your face is burned and scarred? I love you. Didn't you know that? Shortly afterward, he committed suicide. Oh, look, Madeline. We're going away on a holiday, and you're going to forget all these dreams.
Sicilia strikes again. City lies in terror. I've brought her master. Excellent. Excellent. But I've had to bring someone else. Her lover. Foul. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Fargo. <laughs> they won't be missed. <laughs> Don't scream, my dear. He won't hurt you. It's only a sign of affection. <laughs> <laughs> Take her off, take her off. Emil, Emil, uh, go get Lucy. She'll have to go on. I'll quiet this down now. Uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Please, your attention. Due to a slight indisposition to our beautiful leading lady, we will take our first interval in the performance now. Just fatigue, I think. He hasn't been sleeping well. Bad dreams. What sort of dreams, Monsieur Charon? You investigate dreams too, Inspector. Only nightmares, like the death of Monsieur Orsini. Yes. Poor Luigi. You knew them all, didn't you? All the acid victims were once your employees, Monsieur Charon. It was coincidence. Or revenge. Could it be that the man who did the killing is trying to kill you too? I don't know what you mean. Don't you, Charon? Your ex-partner, Maro. That's impossible. Marot is dead. I know. 
I was there the day we came to arrest him. The physician pronounced him dead. And there is only one thing to do with a dead man. Paro was buried, but he was buried alive. No, that's impossible. Paro was mad. He killed Madeline's mother with an ax. He committed suicide. We all saw him. Yes. But the dead can walk, if you know the answers. How? A trick. The trick of shallow breathing. Practiced by the Fakirs of the Orient. Taught to Maro by his one-time friend, Orsini. It took hours, hours of terror. But somehow, Maro found the strength to lift the lid of the coffin. It was the strength of a madman, because by now, Maro was completely insane. He had no memory of what had happened to him. But he had sense enough to cover the grave. And then? His coffin was moved, wasn't it? But where? I don't know. That's a pity, isn't it? If we knew, we could prove my theory. Couldn't we? Call the doctor. The doctor can't help me. Nothing can help me. 
Except? Except what? The truth, Gabrielle. Where are you going? Get dressed. But it's very late. Get dressed and call a carriage. But where are you going? To town? To the house. A house? Please wait for us here. Please, madam. I can't wait. I'm losing business in the town. Madam, I don't like it here. It's very dark. Will you give me my fare? Please, madam. I've engaged you for the return journey. Please wait. But, ma ma madam. Madam, please. Same what? The same house and the same theatre. Just as in my dreams. But why is it here? My father built it for my mother to please her. Madam, I'm not frightened. But must we stay? Just another moment, Gabriel. That driver won't wait forever. Welcome, ladies. Well, we didn't think you'd come so soon. We? My powerful friend, madame. The one who wishes to help you. Please, please, don't hurt us. We don't mean any harm. Hurt you? Madame, I wish no harm to you. How could I harm the woman I love? Do I disgust you? Uh, I didn't disgust your mother. Stop it! Stop it! No, please! Oh. Stop it! Oh. Wait! I'm sorry! Wait! I didn't mean to hurt you. <laughs>
We knew you would come here sooner or later. We? My friend. Monsieur Marot. You're lying. Marot is dead. Marot lives. Ask your wife. Madeline. Here? She is lovely, monsieur. As lovely as her mother was. Where is she? Where is she? Where? Find Monsieur Marot and you will find Madeleine. En garde, monsieur. En garde. King Cesar. It's been a long time. Marrow. You look not so handsome, eh? But alive, Cesar. Isn't that all that matters? You won't be alive long, Marrow. Not after the police know. Must a man die twice for his crimes, Cesar? Must a man suffer twice? For the woman he loves. Get your hands off her. He's mad. Am I? No, Madeleine. He's the one, Madeleine. He's the one who killed your mother. Uh, no!
worry. There was no murder. He already has a death certificate. <laughs> Murderers! Assassins! Killers! You killed him! I know you killed him! One of you! Out there! You killed that man, and you will pay for it! Life! 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 Cesar! Look, but it's impossible. He probably arranged for his delivery before. The more I learn about the past, the more puzzling your part in this mystery gets. What's puzzling you, Inspector? You never told me you and Marot were rivals. Rivals? For Madame Fenelon's affections. It's true, uh, I was in love with Madeline. But uh, Marot was the one she was really interested in. But she couldn't have loved Marot and thrown acids in his face. Oh, you're wrong, Inspector. She had his body moved to the mausoleum, so they could be together, even in death. No, Madeline. That can't be true. Why not? At least it's something we can find out. Yes? Shall we go? Don't you see what you've done? But he's there, Cesar. We put him there, didn't we? The body it won't be decomposed. Aren't you coming? be satisfied. Moreau is dead. And so are your theories. Yes. What a pity. Oh, but to lead him right there. But as you see, everything was all right. Still don't see how. Maybe, maybe we dreamed everything. And a man like Moreau just can't be killed. That's nonsense. Yes, of course. Let's go to bed. No, I couldn't sleep. Do you want some sleeping powder? I have some. Yes. I won't need it tonight. Tonight, I could use it.
You were brought here, Cesar. How? Your wife gave you a sleeping powder. But you're dead. I felt your pulse. The great Orsini was a good teacher. Madeline. Why? Why? What have you done to her? Hypnosis, Cesar. It was the only way to make her listen and understand. Understand? Understand what? The truth, Cesar. That it was you who put the real acid into the beaker. No! Just! You let the woman I loved disfigure me. But you never thought she would love me still, did you? That she would want to marry me, ugly as I am. Madeleine! Madeleine! She can't hear you. But you watch. Watch and see her understand. Len, you're going back. You're returning to your childhood. Back through the years. Back? Yes. You're a child again. A child of seven. In this house. On this stage. On this stage? Yes. It's late at night. The stage is dark. It's so dark. You weren't frightened. It was all a game to you. But suddenly, you heard. You weren't supposed to come to the theater. Your mother was very strict. She never wanted you to know the nightmarish plans that were formed on this stage. But that night, you were there. Rene? Anybody still here? the Axeman of your dreams. You tried to put the blame on Marot. You tried to make us all swear that we had seen what Marot had done. But not I. I did not swear. No, not you, my little friend, but all the others. Eric, Genève, Orsini. They all swore I was guilty. But first I want to hear the truth. I want to hear you say it. Confess! Let me hear the truth, Cesar. Confess! Yes. I killed her. If it does, we'll be there. Don't worry.
Come on, everybody. Hurry up. Curtain in one minute. Are you sure you want to go? Yes, I want to. I must. Everything will be all right. Look, I will wait outside your door while you change. Call me the second you're ready and I'll take you out.
Jean! I've come for you. I've had my revenge, but it's not enough. I need... I need love. Madeleine! Madeleine!
Mag... Madeleine. Goodbye. Goodbye, Madeleine. But remember, the will, the will lives on after death. <laughs>